We're coming upon St. Vincent de Paul, which is one of their housing uh, after you get out of their program. You can live here or you can live in the other one. And there's even a third one for veterans. Tony. Tony you, if you want their help yeah, you can get and it. Their assistance, then you have to abide by the rules and, and the regulations that go by <laughs> with Father's Day. Some, so, some of the rules are the, the, you have to stay clean, you have to be in by 10. And be in by 10 o'clock at night, you know, and work a uh, chore two days, three days come a week. Sober, you know, and it, it wouldn't be a problem for me what if I had a significant other. What about your belongings? Or, or a dog or something like that. My belongings, you know, I have I, I storage. And, uh, and by being in storage and not being able to have them, carrying them around with me in a basket, you yeah, know, yeah, yeah. You know it's, a, it's a privilege. How you know, do you really, pay, you pay for the storage? The, I pay I pay through my uh, uh, income. Oh, you know, I, I, I have an income coming in through the uh, Social Security. You uh, know I'm 64 years old. Oh, I see. And you know I you know I'm I'm just starting all over. You know. Yeah. And to me this is a good thing for me. Yes. Because it'll give me a chance to uh, get my own place. There's uh, you, once you're in there they have a point system. If you get three points you're out. Now a point could be something as silly as five minutes late from the 10 o'clock deadline or as silly as your corner of your bed wasn't tucked in right. I mean, and that's a point. Three of those, you're out. It's, it's, you, you can get them very quickly. You can see that this wouldn't work for a lot of right. people. Right, it, it won't work for a lot of people because a lot of people, it's a little too extreme for them, you know, to uh, come in here and have to deal with the rules that they have because yeah. it's so easily to, to, get it, to get a bed and so easily to lose it, Yeah. You know? <laughs> So, you know, if, uh, if it was me, you know what I mean, I'm, I'm coming through to a hot team and uh, I'm, I'm here for a purpose. I'm here to find me my own place. Every Monday, every Monday, we gotta be out here before the trucks get here. Good morning. Yes. You looking for any services? Oh, there you are. What happened? Oh, yeah? Never well, I have. I was still doing like I was saying, putting everything in storage. I held that bed for you. Okay, good. And good. You said you wanted that bed. Today. I like, well, I came back last Tuesday and you weren't here. Well, I, yeah, I was. I was busy. I had to go get the storage area out in National City. Okay. And uh, get a, get that taken care okay, of. I got that I taken care. I came back Tuesday and Wednesday because I've been holding that bed at St. Yeah. Vincent. Are you wanting that bed today? I'm wanting that bed today. Okay. Today is the day. Can so you come out of the tent, please? He's on. Uh, just for officer safety, thank you. Yeah. Second time we're gonna talk to you about this tent. Eventually. Well, this is the last time you'll talk to me about this you tent. Have your ID with you? Yeah, I have it in here. You you ain't gonna get under my collar today because uh, I'm moving. I'm going in inside, and I'm gonna have my own place. Okay. I've heard. Hopefully you're not here. I heard you. Tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm not here tomorrow. I'm not here today. Be here tomorrow. Okay. Like yeah, I don't okay. want to give you any tickets, but you got the biggest tent on the block, man. No, not anymore. You know, you, you get homeless, you lose everything, and all of a sudden you're, you're the bad guy on the block. We all have to experience the fact that we're not always going to be on top, and we're not always going to have what we have. When we lose these things, and you don't have them, then you have people like the officers, the people of the law, that don't understand what they do understand. But their job is to protect and serve, not to get involved. I think some, some people need to, a rude awakening, I would say. They need, to, they, they need to experience this themselves to know what's, what's really going on out here. How many times have you been warned about being at this spot? None, what, once? Well, yeah. I know I talked to you last that was, week. That was the only time. And then I offered you your bed Monday and you didn't want it. No, I didn't, I didn't want it. I told okay. you, I told you. So you didn't want the bed last Monday? I, you there you go, I, I didn't, I didn't say I didn't want it. Monday. I said, come back Monday, today's Monday. You told me to come back Tuesday, I came back Tuesday. Okay, but today, it didn't So you're work. ready to go right now? Yeah. I told them that I had to get a storage, go down and pay for everything, get everything organized, and it would take a couple of days. And they didn't hear, they didn't hear a word I said. He's, he's an all right guy. He just does his job. He takes it a little too serious though. But I guess we have to. Okay. All right. Okay.
Hey, how's it going? You need your boots. Yeah, well, uh, boots ain't on today. 